Hello friends, Liza here. Welcome back to another video. We are continuing right along with Inktober 2020 and our prompt for today is trap. In case you're new here, my name is Liza Compass and I love making videos about art, music, and my creative journey as a whole. This year, I have challenged myself to make daily time-lapse videos to go along with each of my drawings. So while I got sick and fell just a little bit behind, I will not allow myself to fall victim to the trap of feeling like I failed, and I am determined to finish what I've started. So naturally, when the word trap came up as a prompt, my mind went immediately to what I think are some of the most fascinating plants out there, Venus flytraps. These crazy little carnivores are native to North and South Carolina here in the United States, and as the name would suggest, depend on a diet consisting primarily of insects in order to survive. Venus flytraps grow in marshlands, where the grounds are acidic, soggy, and void of vital nutrients essential to plant life, such as phosphorus and nitrogen. But Venus flytraps also consume water and sunlight converted into sugars through a process called photosynthesis, just like every other plant does. But somewhere along the line, millions of years ago, these plants adapted to eating bugs as well in order to survive their harsh environment. It might sound just a bit gruesome, but this is of course all just another part of the circle of life, and quite honestly, a pretty fascinating one at that. I like to think of Mother Earth as the grand director to some incredibly elaborate play, and all of her creatures as an essential part of the storyline. We each play an important role, from the smallest actors to the largest imaginable. Bugs, bacteria, fungi, and plants, these kingdoms of life are each just as important as the animals roaming our earth and swimming about in our oceans. Even so, it is still so easy for us as humans to overlook many forms of life. But just because we do not readily see something or consciously interact with it throughout our daily lives, this doesn't mean that it's not there, and it certainly does not mean that they don't matter. All life is precious, and all is of divine design. And even though we as humans are considered to be the top of the food chain, let us not fall into the trap of thinking that this makes us better or any more worthy of life than anything else on this planet. Our world is a beautifully complicated place, filled with intricacies that we still cannot fully grasp. So let us be careful not to take anything for granted. After all, who knows what really could all be hanging in the balance. It's still unclear whether this fly in my drawing will survive his current scenario or be dinner for a plant tonight. After all, no one has all the answers. Life can go off in an infinite number of directions at any point in time, and the future is certainly never set in stone. But either way, at some higher level, I'm sure everything is being played out as it's intended, exactly as it should be in the grand scheme of things. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be posting a video every single day throughout the month of October. So if you liked this and you wanna see more, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of the video. And of course, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and join this amazing and growing family. I'm also running a giveaway all throughout the month of October. So if you want to find out how you can win some art from me, like the drawing you saw today, make sure to check the description box below for all the things you can win and how to enter. And as always, guys, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating, and I will see you in my next video.